year of unremitted blessings of God. Yeah. I want you to claim it. Say, it is my year for unremitted blessings. Yeah. And no power can stop it. I will move to praises. To praises of honor. To the praises of favor. My going and coming back this year shall be blessed. Wherever I step my feet, the favor of God will speak for me. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be upon your life in the name of Jesus. As we are about to hear the word of God, can we bow our hands in prayer? Heavenly Father, dear Lord and Savior, we thank you, we worship you. The King of the universe, I welcome your presence in this arena. Father, we bow before you, we thank you. Thank you for making this day a day that you have destined to bless us and favor us. For us to come into your presence to hear your word. Thank you for the privilege, Lord. We ask that you come and speak to us, Lord, in a language that we, we understand. Father, refine our mind, O oh Lord. Father, come and fill us with your word. Father, at the end that your name will be glorified. May we meditate in this word day and night, O oh Lord. And may this word live in us and germinate and bear good fruit in our life. Make us a hearer and a doer of your word. Father, through this word, Father, increase our faith in you. Father, read this word, bring deliverance, bring turn around, bring all of liberty. Mm -hmm. Father, bring breakthrough upon our life. Mm -hmm. This year, as we are here to worship you in first Sunday of this month and of this year, mm -hmm. Father, come and do something that no one has ever done in our life. Mm -hmm. And raise your name be glorified. Mm -hmm. For in Jesus' mighty, wonderful name, we pray. Amen. Your hands together for Jesus. He's worthy, he's worthy, he's worthy. Amen. Amen. According to the decree of this year, say it's a year of my unremitted blessings. Let all of us go to the book of Psalm. Psalm 1. It's our year of unremitted blessings of God. That means every day of this year shall be a blessed day unto you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Your going and coming shall be favored. Whenever you take a step, that step shall be confirmed by God. Amen. And you will come back and testify in the name of Jesus. Amen. And no weapon of one against you shall ever prosper. Amen. Your household and everything that concerns you, Amen. I soak with the blood of Jesus. Amen. Let us read together Psalm 1. Amen. Are we there? Yes. If you are there, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God is faithful. Our God is good. Amen. Amen. Psalm 1. Let's go on together. Okay. Happy is those who reject the advice of evil men, who do not follow the example of sinners, or join those who have no use for God. Instead, they find joy in obeying the law of the Lord. And they study day and night. They are like trees that grow beside a stream water, that bear fruit at its lifetime, and whose leaves do not dry up. They succeed in everything they do. You will succeed in everything you do this year. In the name of Jesus, by the word of God, and the Lord will make you to feel happy all around you. And you will be blessed. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I want you to repeat the verse 1 with your King James Version. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Blessed is a man that walketh not in the counsel of ungodly. Nor standing in the way of sinners. Nor standing in the way of sinners. So as you are meditating and maintaining and obeying the commandment of God this year, you shall be blessed in everything you lay your hand. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. During my Christ, uh, New Year message, I was saying, according to the word of God, that there peop there's people you need to read for you to move to where God is taking you, have prepared for you. And there are people that need to read your life for you to succeed. Amen. Amen. So because there are people that you need to separate yourself for you to move forward. Hallelujah. Amen. Because this is what the Psalm, 9, Psalm 1 is saying. 
Blessed is anyone that rejects the advice, that, that rejects to sit together with the counsel of ungodly, those who have no use for God. Amen. Amen. As you obey the law of God according to our Bible reading this morning in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, the law will prosper you. Amen. The law will favor you. Amen. The law will give you miracle. In every area of your life, where you could not speak for yourself, the Lord will raise a voice for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It is your year of unlimited blessings. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. amen. But before I proceed this morning, according to the Spirit of God, I want us to also go to the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18 to 19 because there are many people i want to let you know that jesus is the only way the truth and life so i want if you have not submit to the authority of jesus as many that are hearing the sound of my voice this is a new year we have to new, do, uh, begin it with a new a new chapter the law will open a new chapter in your life if you sur surrender to the authority of jesus if you are open your heart that Jesus will come in this morning, the Lord will open a new chapter in your life. As we are in this new year, everything you do throughout this year shall be blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. The book of Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18 to 19 says, Come now, rate us reason together, saith the Lord, though your sins may be as Carrot, there shall be white as snow. Though there be like lead, like crimson, there shall be as snow. As hallelujah. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the lamb. Hallelujah. So I want you, wherever you are, if you are still having a doubt or you have given your life to Jesus before, but because of one thing or the other, you fell. Because the Bible let me to know anyone that is in Christ Jesus in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. It's a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. God is not looking at your past. He's looking at about your future. Amen. He holds your future in your hand. God, Jesus is the author and finisher of our faith. He's the beginning and the end. So I allow him to come into your life this morning. Allow him to come and take preeminence in every affair of your life. And God will make you to be happy this year. Amen. Hallelujah. Everything you raise your hands, you shall prosper. Amen. Jesus is the Son of God. Amen. Amen. He said, no matter the sin you have committed, God is not appraising, is not looking in that way. He wants you, He wants your soul, He wants your relationship. Amen. Amen. He wants you to be closer to Him this year. Hallelujah. Amen. So come to him. When you when we read the book of Romans, I want somebody to read the book of Romans chapter 9 verse 15. Hallelujah. God is not concerned about your sin, about the evil words you are speaking, about your unbelief is not concerned. Come. Come let us reason together and he will show you mercy. Amen. Romans chapter 9 verse 15. Yes. For he said to Moses, Roman, yes, God said to Moses, I will have mercy on anyone I wish. I will have mercy on anyone I, I wish. God is not speaking the way woman be speak. God, woman be may condemn you. Woman be may see you as a sinner. But God is seeing you as his dear son. Amen. He said, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. I will take pity on anyone. I will take pity on anyone I wish. So therefore, God is still concerned about the affair of your head, that the things that concern you, because you are so dear to him. So he wants you to come to him this morning. Jesus is there on the cross. He has died and paid our price. And he raised on the third day. He said it is finished. And whosoever the Son of Man said free is free indeed. Amen. Amen. Please come to him. Made up your mind this new year to follow God to the end, to worship Him in truth and in spirit and the Lord will bless you. Amen. He will fight your battle. Amen. 
He will contain with every power contained with you. He will challenge all your challengers. Jesus is the way. Come that he will show you the way in the name of Jesus. A way to success. A way that reads to eternal life. A way that reads to breakthrough. A way that reads to good health. Amen. Amen. Jesus is the way. Come to him and be saved. Amen. Amen. According to the book of John chapter 3 verse 15, say, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. Amen. For with the heart man believed unto righteousness, and with mouth confession is made unto salvation. I'm reading the book of Romans 10, verse 10 to 13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Anyone as you call and believe in the name of the Lord, you shall be saved. Amen. Amen. God is love. Jesus is love. Jesus loves you so much. Please submit unto the authority of God, authority of Jesus. If you are being walking with the diabolical power, please let go of those things. Old have passed. Now become a new man in Christ Jesus. Jesus is the only one who can give you blessing that will make you rich and add no sorrow. Amen. Amen. You, you have paid the sacrifice. There is no need of wasting your time with fetish idol. There is no need of wasting your time being on your own, hustling on your own, reboling on your own. He said, Come to me in the book of Matthew, chapter 11, verse 28. All he that rebel and heavy reading, and I will give you rest. Amen. Amen. This me- this morning message is a message of salvation. Christ is seeking for your soul. He wants you to be saved. Hallelujah. Amen. He wants to give you peace that no man can give you. He wants to open a new chapter in your life. You last year you might have struggled. You might have achieved greatness, but the one you will achieve this year, if you submit your life to Jesus, if you walk under the principle according to the word of God, it will be greater. Hallelujah. Amen. So come to him and be saved. Hallelujah. Amen. Christ loves you. Jesus died for all. He died both for the sinners. He died both for the righteous. So he loves you. Amen. Amen. It's not condemning anyone. And as you come, the Lord will give you peace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let us go to the book of John chapter 1, verse 12 to 14. The book of John chapter 1, verse 12 to 14. I read, But as many that received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. If you believe in Jesus, you are automatically a child of God. There you have that power, but you power to say, devil, get behind me, for I am a child of God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. As many that believe and received him, that received him into their life this morning as you are about to, to receive him, the power will be given unto you. Automatically you will become a son and daughters of God. Amen. Amen. Please don't harden your heart. Christ is there knocking on the door. If you open, he will come in and he will turn your life around in the name of Jesus. Verse 12, he said, But as many that received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. If you believe in the name of Jesus, you shall be saved. Even though you are in the sick bed, you shall be saved. For by his stripe we are healed. If you believe that Jesus is the Son of God and confess your mouth in your, with your mouth that he came and died on the, on the cross for your sin, on the third day he raised, you shall be saved. Amen. Say, I am saved through the, through the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Which were born not of blood, nor of the will of, of flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Now the word was made fresh and do it among us. We beheld his glory, the glory of the, the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. The, the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 20 says, Behold, I am, I stand at the door knocking. If any man hear my voice, open the door, I will come in to him, and I will shout with him he 
with me. So you are, are you ready? Are you ready this morning to submit your life to the authority of Jesus Christ? Are you ready to are you ready to be saved this morning? If you are ready, I want you to make this prayer with me. And Christ will come into your life and he will open a new chapter in your life. May God bless you as you do so. Repeat this prayer with me. Hallelujah. And it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Please forgive me I and come into my life. I receive you today as my Lord and Savior. Help me to reap, reap for you the rest of this life. And give me the grace to hate sin and overcome its temptation. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for saving me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God is good. Father, I thank you for this soul that has been saved today. Lord, I say may your name be glorified. Keep him, keep her, preserve them, Lord. Let your light shine upon their life. Everything they do this year, let them experience your presence, Lord. Father, prosper them, Lord. Father, favor them, Lord. Let them experience the unmerited favor of, of, of in your power. Let them experience the unremitted blessing that come from you, Lord. Amen. This year, Lord, I come against every power of darkness out of their life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I thank you. I give you all the honor for a privilege like this today. Be that glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 If you are happy this morning, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Our God is good. Glory be to Jesus. The topic of this morning, being titled, How to Walk with God. Amen. Amen. That is our topic. How to Walk with God. Amen. Amen. Our God is faithful. He is worthy to be glorified. He is worthy to be exalted. He's worthy to be glorified. He's worthy. He's worthy. How to walk with God. Amen. I want somebody to take us to the book of Deuteronomy. Amen. I've unreached some key points in which you can walk with God. Perfectly and receive his promise. According to our topic this morning, say how to walk with God, thereby receiving His promises. Amen. Because God is a, a covenant keeping God. And God is always make promise to His children, as many that believe in Him, in His name, as many that obey and walk in His status. Hallelujah. If you walk with Him diligently, He will bless you. Hallelujah. But if you go a contrary against His will, there is punishment. Amen. So, but it's better to be obedient. Obedient is better than sacrifice. Tell someone obedient is better than sacrifice. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Can we all go to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28? How to walk with God thereby receiving his promises. There, I will tell you five ways to walk with God this morning. And if you follow it, the Lord will bless you, will break every yoke out of your life, and will lift you high. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I read, listen to me. If you, the book of, I'm reading the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. If you obey the Lord your God faithfully and keep all his commands that I am giving you today, he will make you greater than any other nation on earth. Obey the Lord your God, and all these blessings will be yours. Three, the Lord will bless you, bless your town and your field. The Lord will bless you with many children, with abundance crops, and with many cattle and sheep. Amen. 
talking about this, he said, obedience. Working with God, it, 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 it take, it, you know, you need your obedience to work with God faithfully. Amen. Amen. Because when you are working with God, God will, will speak to you. It's just like when you are working in a company with your, um, your master. You need to take instruction from that master. And as you are taking instruction from that master and you are applying it to your work, you will see the work will be going smoothly. But when you, you, you don't waste to take instruction, you see yourself making error. And what will end it? They may, it may read to sack. They will sack the person from working in that agent. Amen. Or in that company. But when you wait patiently to receive the instruction and walk towards it, you will see yourself making excellent progress. And by doing that, you see yourself being promoted. Amen. Hallelujah. Not only will you have peace with your master and with other people, but you have peace in your mind about your job. So now we are talking about working with God. Hallelujah. He said, if you obey diligently and walk according to the word of God, according to his command, you will be blessed in the town, in your field, everything you wear in your hand, he shall, shall be blessed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's why he said, the Lord will bless your crops and the food you prepare from them. The Lord will bless everything you do. Seven, the Lord will defeat your enemies. When they attack you, they will attack from one direction, but they will run from you in all directions. Hallelujah. Do you see that disobedience can cause God not to rest in when you are praying? Amen. Your disobedience to the word of God can make him that, you know, when you disobey, you begin to walk in your own way. Walking in the way of sinners. It can make God to turn back at you. When, even when you are crying, you praise, you sow, you carry your seed, so it will make God not to listen to you. Do you see the word of God here? He says he will praise everything you raise your hands. And when there is a battle in your life, he will come in and fight your battle. Sometimes we allow ourselves to be fight, fighting ourselves by our, our battle by ourselves. Hallelujah. Because the presence of God is no more there. Because we fail not to walk according to the will of God. Amen. His will is that we might obey all his command and walk according to his status that he will bless us. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you want to know the commandment of God, you go to the book of Exodus chapter 20. Read from 1 to, the, to, to 20. That is where God gave a, a, a Moses the laws. That shall not kill, that shall not murder, that shall not fornicate, that shall we all know what is evil. As a child of God, anyone that have grown up to 18 years, you know what is evil and good. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, God, He has promised us that He's going to bless us, bless everything. When your enemy arrives in one direction, even in the dream, physical, Wherever they are in your village, in the town where you are, anyone that makes himself your enemy, calling your name in the mirror, in as much you are obedient to the voice of God and according to his word. Anywhere they call you, Jesus, our we appear for your sake Amen. and destroy them. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So this morning, because of time, I will allow you to read that the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, you read it down to 14 because of time. This morning I want to unleash five ways in which you can work with God. Amen. Amen. Number one, working with God, you need your prayer. Amen. Amen. How to work with God in which, in, thereby receiving your promises. One, your prayer. Because prayer is a means which we communicate with God. Hallelujah. Amen. Just as we can communicate with our master where we walk. Or with our couple, I don't know what you call them, but the ones taking responsibility of the work you are doing, in charge of you, wherever you are, our father who, our earthly father, we take information, instruction from them for us to read. Hallelujah! They guide us and put us through. So working with God for you to succeed in everything you do, one, you need your prayer, prayer communication, communicating with your father, telling him what you need and ask him he said ask and it shall be given to you amen. amen in the book of matthew chapter 7 verse 7 he said ask 
and it shall be given. Therefore, God always expects you to ask. Amen. Though He knows our heart's desire, even before you ask, He knows. He knows everything concerning you. But He wants to expect you to ask, and it shall be given to you. Nor can the door shall open. Seek, and you shall find. That's why, therefore, we need to, as a Christian, we need to make time to pray. Make time to fellowship with God. Hallelujah. By making time to pray, making time to fellowship with God, then you will begin to praise the Lord. He will give you the gateway to receive. You will open the doors. Hallelujah. You will open many doors. When you have time to fellowship with God, you will begin to receive. Amen. One, after your prayer, you need to rest in it. Amen. Amen. Someone say, rest in. Some people pray, they don't want to rest in to the voice of God. After your prayer, you need to stay in silence and resting to the voice of God. Because people will always try to pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, we worship you, Father, I need a kindness here. This year, I want to marry, I want to build house, I need my business to be broom. Yes, God has said it. He said he will bless you everything concerning you. But after you have made, made your petition, you need to rest in. Hallelujah. Amen. I never see anyone that go to make a demand for a job. You, you go, you, after you submit your curriculum, you have to go or your CV. You have to go and wait. Rest in to what they are about to say. Am, am I right? Am I communicating? Yes. Praise the Lord. You need to wait and listen. After you have prayed, then you listen to the voice of God. He will give you direction. Listen to his teaching, to the word of God. It may be by your pastor, or as I'm preaching, or by anyone, and or the voice directly will direct you through dream. Amen. Amen. When, because as a Christian, as a human being, you need to have time for yourself. Time to think and reason about your life. Don't allow your life always to be busy. You have to, you also, there are people that are always busy to the sound of this world. They don't have time to reason about, think about their life, how to plan their future. Hallelujah. You need to have time. This year, have time for yourself to think, to plan your future. Amen. Amen. Have time after you pray, have time to listen to the voice of God, to take direction and instruction and guidance. Through the commandment of God, Amen. Through His Word, Hallelujah. Amen. So after you have prayed and you're resting, then obedient. Someone say obedient. Obedient. Obedient is better than sacrifice. Sometimes people go to shrine to make get charm, and they follow the instruction according to what they give to them. Amen. Amen. Why is it hard for Christians to obey the voice of God? To obey the Word of God. When God said, this is what I want you to do, my son, you find it difficult to obey. Sometimes you tell people, ah, because of your problem, you need to go on this prayer, maybe seven days prayer. They will tell you, ah, pastor, I cannot do it. Can I give you money to do it? You see why many pastors, they are becoming 419. Because you, you don't want to pray. You don't want to suffer your body to pray. Then you are looking for someone who will pray for you and fast for you. Then you begin to pay. Many people, even people that does not have the calling, we come because they say, okay, I can, I can receive money to pray for someone. Hallelujah. So you are encouraging person to, to pray for you, you pay. Praise the Lord. But that is not what Jesus taught us. Jesus, he came. He now showed us the way. He went into the wilderness and he prayed 40 days and 40 nights to receive from God, to hear a voice from heaven. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm telling you the five ways you need to work with God for you to receive the promise of God concerning your life. Amen. Amen. Am I communicating this morning? Yes, if you are blessed, I want you to wave your hands to Jesus. Hallelujah. Say, Jesus, I love you. Hallelujah. 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 Obedient. Obedient, if you obey God diligently. I read the verse, the verse 1 of chapter 28 of Deuteronomy again. He said, if you obey the Lord, your God, faithfully and keep all his commands that I am giving you today, 
he will make you greater than any other nation on earth. Obey the Lord your God, and all these blessings will be yours. Amen. Obedience, he has a promise. When you obey, he says all these blessings will be yours. Amen. He will, be, he will bless you in the time. He will bless everything in your business. He will bless you. In your ministry, he will bless you. In your marriage, he will bless you and make it fruitful. Hallelujah. Amen. When a man came and said, I will marry you, then God will make that man to stand and marry you. You will not you allow the man to see error in your life. If a girl has decided I will marry this boy, you will not raise God will make that person to be seeing everything good about you. Not to see the error. Because every one of us as a human being, we have a weak point. We are not perfect. Hallelujah. Amen. But God will perfect all those of our imperfection Amen. through Jesus. Hallelujah. I see God perfecting someone's life this Amen. morning. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Obedience is better than sacrifice. But when you want to do it by yourself, in everything you do, you make an inquiry from God. Seek His face. You will see God manifesting His power. Hallelujah. Are we happy this morning? First, you need to take action. After you have resting, you have prayed and resting and obey. Then you put action. Praise the Lord. Take action. Walk towards the direction you have received. Walk towards the instruction that you have received. Hallelujah. For faith without work is dead. Raise someone, take us to the book of James, chapter 2, verse 17 to 22. Faith without work is dead. The book of James. No matter how strong your faith is, you need to work towards it. Amen. If you say that, God, I call upon you, please give me job, then you have to work out to go and submit your curriculum, to go and submit your CV in that office. You cannot pray seven days and still remain at home, expecting miracles to happen at home. You need to go out and put out your CV. Then you wait for God to do his own because you have work. You are putting, God, I, I thank you. I cover this my CV with the blood of Jesus. I pray that there are some dropping this CV in any office. I pray for my miracle job. Anyone sitting on the seat of my job, Lord, unseat them. Then you go and you submit. You wait for the miracle. Hallelujah. For faith without work is dead. If you pray and say, God, I need a husband, I need my wife. And you don't make a move. You see the one that you desire. God created Eve for Adam. And Adam said, God, it's because of the woman you gave to me. That is why I sin against you. Then God said, whosoever I find a wife, find a good thing and obtain favor. Then you need to find then if you see someone that you really desire to marry go tell the person sister i love you i want to marry you with all your heart not for deceiving mind amen praise the lord i'm making instance there are many things that you desire hallelujah there are many things you desire you desire child you have prayed you waited then you need to there are things you need to watch what you are eating hallelujah then i say man you need to impregnate a woman. You need to take off every, maybe sugar. You are taking too much sugar. Sugar can damage your organ. You reduce it. I'm not telling you to begin to go and drink alcohol. No. But um, there is a kind of lifestyle you'll be living. You will have peace. You enable God to do his work. Amen. Please let somebody read that very uh, book of James. The book of James chapter, chapter 2, verse 17 to 22. Even so, faith. Even so, faith. If it have not works. If faith have no work. Is dead. Is dead. Being alone. Being alone. Your faith need to be accomplished with work. Hallelujah. Faith is evidence of things hope for not seeing. Hallelujah. So your faith need to be accomplished with work. Yet a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Some some person may say, I have faith. Some person will say, I have work. And show me your, your faith without your work. If you show me your faith without your work, I will show you my faith by my works. I will show you my faith by my works. You believe that there is one God. You do well. 
The devil also believes and trembles. Christians, we believe that there is one God. And even the devil, they believe also. Devil believe that there is one God and he trembles before the presence of God. Because there is no difference. But your faith needs to be shown by your work. Hashem. He taking action. Hallelujah. Believing that God has said this, so shall it be upon my life. Hallelujah. Not you read, you pray, but there is no faith. You don't want to worry. You are waiting for your destiny helper. God may direct you out. You will go out today. As you are going, you will meet your someone. Then, instead of you to wake up early to move, you are still sleeping till 10 o'clock. Maybe that person, that person that God has assigned to help you in life, he has come there and passed. Hallelujah. So you need to walk, put action, walk, activate your faith. You can walk, maybe wherever you are, in the domination you are, in the church, whatever thing you need, you can walk to help people. When you are helping others, God is also blessing you. Sometimes you can pray for others that are in need. God will also take charge of your affair. Amen. Not only praying for yourself, yourself. You can pray. God, there are people that are suffering that are in the hospitals. Father, I want you to heal them. With all your heart, God will see your heart. He will heal those people and he will still settle your own case. Amen. Amen. It can be maybe not everything with money. There are people that have money. Okay, God, I am sowing seed because of this. I am not that I'm giving to pastor. I'm sowing seed in the name of Jesus. Father, because I am looking for a child. By this time, Lord, I want you to do this because according to your word, you do it and you go. And you wait for God's reply. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And God will give you a testimony in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 But when you are doing those things, you think, ah, I'm giving my pastor. You are not giving, if you are giving it, you are giving it to a human being. But if you are doing anything, you are doing it because God says so. You are doing direction and having direction, direct contact with God. God who sees all the things you do in secret will bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we happy? Yes. So, I'm teaching you how to walk with God. Amen. Amen. Faith without work is dead. You need to put your faith in action. Amen. In everything you do. Praise the Lord. Amen. Don't allow fear to grip your mind. Five. Patient. Being patiently to wait for your time. Amen. Because everything here on earth has time and season. According to the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3. You need to wait for your time. Because if you want to rush because God has blessed salmon. And you have seen him because both of you, maybe you both of you are in the same class. And God has blessed him. You need to wait. The sin are not the same. Praise the Lord. And grace are not the same. Your grace may be different from this. So you wait that so that God will bless you at the appointed time. Because when you begin to rush and overspeed, it will bring enviness. And enviness will lead to many sins. Amen. Amen. You begin to feel hatred about your brother, about your friend. Rejoice with him or with her so that your own blessing will come. Amen. Amen. Even though all your friends have getting married, Pray for them, wish them well. Your own way come. Hallelujah. Amen. If they have gotten everything in life, wait. God is busy working something good for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord will turn things along for your favor. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let somebody give us the book of Isaiah chapter 29 verse 11. Isaiah 29 verse 11. Say to someone, wait patiently. Wait patiently. And you will receive. And God will favor you. You will see the manifestation of the power of God. Yes. And the vision of all is become unto you. The, the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 11. Jeremiah. Sorry. Jeremiah, the book of Jeremiah 29. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you. For I know the thoughts I think towards you. Do you know me? When I was looking for a job, many jobs was coming. There are some kind of job I was desiring. And God was raising many. I went to sub, submit all my CV everywhere. 
all the whole agents I know, I submit it. But it comes to a, a time that God is actually pushing me to a, a better place because they are a better place. Hallelujah. Maybe many people begin to call me for work. But sometimes if I read there, they will tell me I, you have to sign a contract because of one thing. The contract will not hold again. I will go. I will say, God, but you say this one is for me. And it's for you, but I want a better one for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is how he pushed me, he pushed me, he pushed me until I finally, the one I got. Today, I have a peace contract with those people because it is how God wants it. Amen. He said, for I alone know the thought I have for you, the plan I have for you. If you begin to walk according to the duration of God, God will perfect all that concerns you. Amen. Allowing his word to be your guide. His word in the book of Psalm 119 verse 105. His word will be a shining light to your path and a lamp to your feet. He will not fall into darkness. You will not fall into evil. Amen. He will guide and protect you and lead you to a place of success. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So shall it be upon your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. He know the thought he have for you. Go on. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you an expected end. To oh. give you an expected end. No. Me, I desire to have peace contract. That is my own wish that time. And God is going to give you your own desire in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You will give you that expectation. The expectation, I pray in the name of Jesus, that your greatest expectation shall never be cut short. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Any power that wants to remit your testimony, I say, Holy Ghost, fire. fire. Wherever they are in the east, Holy Ghost, fire. fire. In the north, Holy Ghost, fire. I cover all your blessings in the name of Jesus. Amen. By the anointing over today's service, I decree red doors, open doors upon your life. The door that no man can shut be opened unto you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The door of favor Amen. open from east and north and south and west Amen. for your sake. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Wait patiently. For God is a, is a faithful God. He promised Abraham when you read the book of Genesis chapter 17. From 15 to 21, he promised Abraham. He told Abraham, by this time next year, you are going to have your baby. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Even when Ishmael come, he told Abraham, no, this one is not the one I promised you because Sarah is the one that pushed you to sleep with her, her maid, which bring this product as Ishmael. Not this one. I have promised you because Abraham and Sarah, Sarah want to walk it faster. He does not want to wait again for the time that God has said. He now say, hey Abraham, my, my dear husband, you can sleep with my, 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 my maid so that you have a hair. And Abraham want to please his wife and his slept. Today, that is the problem we have in the world. This one will say I'm a Muslim. This one will say I'm a Christian. Hallelujah. But we are serving one God. Muslim and Christian Christian. Hallelujah. But we are serving one God. Problem everywhere. Sometimes you need to wait for the for the God. God's time is the best. Wait for the time that God has said to bless you. And when He bless you, He add no sorrow. Hallelujah. I decree the blessings of God upon your life today. The divine favor of God upon your life in the name of Jesus. When you have wherever you have been going before and they reject you, as you go this time, they will favor you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. the Lord Most High will raise a voices to speak for you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And anyone occupying your seat in any office, anything that belongs to you that is still in the hands of the enemy, I command by the power in the name of Jesus, let it be released unto you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I restore your peace. I restore your, your womb. I restore your destiny Amen. in your glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. And when it is time that Abraham have to receive the gift, he received it. He said by this time next year, if we go the book of Genesis chapter 17 verse 15 to 21, we see that. Praise the Lord. Praise someone. Read the book of Isaiah chapter 5. 55 verse 8. Isaiah 55 verse 8. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Isaiah 55 verse 8 he said for my thoughts are not your thoughts for my thought is not your thought that is how why you need to wait your thoughts is not the thought of God my thought is not the thought of God amen amen neither your ways my ways neither your ways my way you need to wait patiently for the will of God to be done or whenever you pray always pray according to the will of God amen for sometimes we pray amiss. If you read the book of James chapter 4, he said, where is all the quarrel come among you? Sometimes we pray we did not receive it because we pray amiss. We always all just we are praying for things that we can use to take care of our rust. Amen. Amen. But it's not according to the will of God. Sometimes God will say, if I give this very young man this thing, he will run away from my prison. God will say, I will wait until this person will have a change of mind. Sometimes God will see something that will destroy you in the future. You may see a man, not all things that shine, all, the, all things that are greater are good. You may see someone because he have car, he want to marry that person by all means. But God have someone, maybe now he have not had getting a car, but he will get car in the future. You say, no, I reject this one. I want to follow this one because he have car to drive you around. No. There is a better prayer that God is preparing. Maybe as this one that have car now, he marry you, you are following him. <laughs> In two years time, he will still see another girl that love car. That one will still follow him. He will marry that one. Then you become concubine. Instead of to follow the one that will marry you and buy you even car. In, in, in maybe in that two, two years time, that one will make it. At how God has planned it and buy you car. When I marry my wife, I don't have car. But today I have car. I can ta- oh, take yeah. her along. Ooh. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. It's God doing it's not by power. Praise God. So sometimes you need to wait for the will of God to be done. Pray according to the will of God. And God will direct you. And God will perfect all that concerns you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to stand up wherever you are. Oh Lord, Father, teach me how to walk with you. Direct my path. Increase my faith in you, Lord. Your prayer, everybody. Father, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, Father, teach us, oh Lord, the way, the best way to walk with you. Give us the grace to be obedient unto your word, to do your will. Father, to the end, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father, direct our path. Father, increase our faith this very new year. Father, as we step our foot in the year 2021, Father, direct our path. Father, in everything we do, that we will succeed in the name of Jesus. Father, direct the path, direct the will, Lord. Direct the path of your children in the name of Jesus. Father, increase their faith. Make them to know you. Make them give them the grace to walk according to your will, to obey your commandment, and to keep it, O Lord. Father, and to walk according to your word in the name of Jesus. And at the end, that we shall receive your promises, O Lord. This year, O Lord, rate your unmerited favor. Locate as many as are hearing the sound of my voice. Father, I decree your unmerited favor upon their life. I decree that unmerited blessings which you have promised us this year through some through some one. Bless is a man that does not walk in the counsel of ungodly. Father, that in everything we do, you will make, make us to be blessed. And you will make us to experience your favor. We will experience your goodness. Father, I pray thee, let it come to pass in their life. In the name of Jesus. Father, we worship you. We give you praise. I want you to begin to ask for healing to do that in the hospital. There are many people even this year that are still suffering because of coronavirus or because of one sickness or the other. Pray for your family members. Pray. Father, I pray for your healing. As many that are hearing the sound of my voice, anyone, anything, any part of your body or your system that you are feeling pain, I ask for the healing of God upon you now. In the name of Jesus, is it your parents that are sick? I ask for healing. Anyone that are in the hospital, Father, I pray for your healing upon them. In the name of Jesus, I cover our children with the blood of Jesus. I cover our marriages with the blood of Jesus. I cover that your relationship with the blood of Jesus. Father, come and perfect your will. I cover your business with the blood of Jesus. I cover your ministry with the blood of Jesus. Holy Ghost, come and have your way. Father, I thank you. Father, I bless this week. I cover this week. Every day of this week shall be a blessed day. 
in the name of Jesus. Amen. Even every day of this year shall be a blessed day. Amen. 365 days. We have counted three today. The remaining 62. I cover it with the blood of Jesus. No accident in your way. Amen. No bad news in, you, in to your ear. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. all you will receive this year is good news. All you will receive this year is congratulation. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I break every use of, of untimely death out of your life. Amen. This year you will not experience bad news. Amen. You will not experience sorrow. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Wherever your destiny helper is, I pray, let them locate you now. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I read them unto you. If they are being healed by any power, I command that power to give way. Amen. I destroy that evil power in the name of Jesus. Amen. Rate your destiny helper, locate you now. Amen. Wherever you are, Amen. in the name of Jesus, Amen. I pray this week in the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, we thank you. I want you to begin to worship the Lord, give Him praise, thank Him for what He is about to do and what He has done. Lord, we give you all the glory. We thank you from the beginning of this service. Father, you have been so faithful. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your goodness and mercy. Thank you for your awesome power. Thank you for your love, Lord. Thank you for all your promises, Lord. Father, thank you for everything you have done. Father, we worship you. Lord, we give you all the glory. Lord, we give you all the honor. Father, we worship you. Lord, we lift your name high. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Viewers all over the world, this is Christ Victoria Chapel International, the arena of breakthrough. Hallelujah. Amen. We welcome you once again. Thank you for worshiping with us. Hallelujah. Amen. On every Thursday is our Bible study. We take it from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m., just a one hour program. And every Friday is our Holy Ghost and Power Night, Prophetic Night. If you want to be counseled, you will see our the, this number in the screen, so you can contact the contact the man of God, and we pray for you. Amen. Amen. So, and every Sunday like this is us always our atmosphere of worship. So may God bless you as you fellowship with us Amen. in the name of Jesus. Please, the mandate that Jesus gave to all of us is to go ye into the world and preach the good news to all nations. To win souls. There is a joy in heaven over one soul that repent. Amen. Amen. So I want you to make yourself to be a carrier of the, the, the gospel. Amen. Amen. Be an ambassador of Christ, ambassador of peace wherever you are. And the Lord will bless you, my tree. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. May God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. As we share the grace in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God, God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Grace and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. In the name of Jesus. Happy Sunday. God bless you all. Amen.